today we are starting with the story of a woman who's on a journey to empower others through her poetry. Rupi Kaur's collections have sold over 10 million copies and won her four and a half million followers on Instagram, but she's not stopping anytime soon. Now we talked to the poet about the winding road that's brought her to this moment. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. I want to apologize to all the women I've called pretty before I've called them intelligent or brave. Poet, artist, performer. Not because I don't think you're pretty, but because I realize that you are so much more than that. At 21, Rupi Kaur self-published her first poetry collection, Milk and Honey, stealing the spotlight of best-selling poetry from Homer's 15th century epic, the Odyssey. She followed that up with two more bestsellers, an hour-long Amazon special, and now a world tour, all before she turns 30. But the most impressive part, it all happened by chance at an open mic night. The poem that I wrote was horrible, but at the time, probably thought it was amazing. And went and I performed it, and to have them just listen was very life-changing. From then on, she kept writing and performing, but still couldn't see how her poetry could ever pay her rent. My dad worked so much, and for a long period, for a decade, he was extremely, extremely sick. And so seeing that, I always had this fear of like, what am I gonna do? If he passes away, I have to hold this family together. And now not only is her poetry paying her rent, but it was probably after my second or third book, I was like, okay, I think I can call myself an author now. Still feels weird though. From the beginning, she's never shied away from hard topics, love, loss, trauma, and migration. She talks about it all. I think about the way my father pulled the family out of poverty without knowing what a vowel was. And my mother raised four children without being able to construct a perfect sentence in England. I got into writing more about my experiences as a woman and giving women the space to feel and be empowered. They convinced me I only had a few good years left before I was replaced by a girl younger than me. As though men yield power with age, but women grow into irrelevance. Each poem is a way to take big feelings and experiences and pare them down to just a few words. It took me years to get to a place where I could even write about and define what depression feels like and it's like for me because I went through years of not knowing how to put it into words. And so putting it into words is like a very empowering thing and I think it takes time. I would scrub the self-hate off the bone till it exposed love. Her words help create a connection with readers and audiences. I think I live for that feeling of being connected. And as adults, I think we lose that because we start to prioritize our careers and work. And Rupi says people relate to her words regardless of where they live or what their background is. At the end of the day, I'm just talking about human emotions and experiences, and those are universal regardless of race or class. The journey of a professional poet is at the top of the list.